Hi, I'm Ali and a warm welcome to Face Yoga Master. So in today's video, I thought I would share with you Gashwa for the face. We're going to use the Gashwa on the neck area, then the facial area, and then finish off with the all important lymphatic drainage massage. Now, really important, make sure your face is completely clean. So I've got no product on my skin, my face whatsoever, and clean fingers. You will need some form of slip so you're not dragging and pulling and compromising the skin and I do tend to find a facial oil is best. I've Today I'm using an organic oil here from Neil's Yard and you just need a couple of drops. If you don't have any facial oil you can always use something like extra virgin olive oil from your kitchen. So just a couple of drops, just pass onto the skin first and not forgetting the neck and also the decollete. Now you can do these exercises, massage exercises, two or three times a day. Obviously it depends how long you have, or even just once a week if you have time on a Sunday. And you can take as long as you like. Now I do have two Gua Sha tools here, and Gua Sha is actually Japanese, and it's been going for thousands of years, and it's a great tool for helping lymphatic drainage and actually sculpting the muscles on the facial area as well as relaxing the whole tension within the face. Now I do have a rose quartz here with my heart and a jade one. I tend to use the smaller one for the eyes but today we're going to use this larger one, this larger love heart. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to place my finger literally on one side, literally as an anchor, I'm taking my Gua Sha tool and I'm using this side. Now you want a quite a light touch and we're just going to move it across, fairly flat actually, across the collarbone, just under the collarbone, heading towards the armpit. Now we have a lot of lymph nodes along this area and we're working towards glands here, so really important to get some lymphatic drainage going here and then we do the other side again anchor with the hand take our gua sha and just gently pull it across in a sweeping motion now when you do get your gua sha tool really important when you first open it take it out of the box one make sure it's a proper gua sha and a proper stone they all have their own energies so obviously you know rose quartz is you know more for loving and you know there's lots of different types but you want to make sure that you wash it completely when you first get it home in some soapy water and then rinse it under some cold water just to release any negative energy you don't know who's touched it where it's been and it all holds energy so it's good to just give it a good cleanse and once you finish with your facial again please cleanse it afterwards as well so now we're going to work on our neck and I like to, in the centre part here, I just like to use this part here, start from the base, again hold as an anchor and just gently lift up towards the jawline and we do this three times. I like to go slow and mindfully and then I'm going to take it again on this side here it's got more space and I'm just going to just go gently glide up towards the jawline and the ear. Now by going gently you're moving toxins and waste throughout the lymph and it's very close to the surface of the skin so by doing this you will find you will start to want to swallow, you can feel things moving around literally straight away. Again on the other side, this is great for the turkey neck and also the double chin and up and then I like to work again we have lots of points here acupressure points I like to take my gua sha and again literally from the shoulder here where we hold a lot of tension and just work our way up all the way literally to the occipital bone and just give it a small wiggle And again and then on the other side if you have any tender points you can always just work it out slightly and you know just go a few more times 
you may have a knot you know from driving tech neck looking down just everyday living so now I'm going to take my tool and you can see here on sort of the top of the bow I'm going to place one hand on the chin and literally where the jawline is we're going to work along towards the ear and then once we get to the ear I'm going to hold my hand here and gently glide down the side of the neck down along this muscle down to the collarbone Again, but go on to the other side. So again, place our finger onto our chin and just gently glide. This is great for the jawline. Again, also the double chin. And just glide, wiggle. We have lots of lymph nodes along this area, so it's a really good one to release any toxins within the lymph. And again, above is again lots of acupressure points and down by the side of the neck where we have this major muscle here to the collarbone so now we're going to take our hands our fingers and we're going to do literally an all over sweep this will help the nasal and also the marionette lines so by holding our nose holding here we're just going to gently sweep across and wiggle slow and mindfully And on the other side. Now this is also great for helping elastin. We're actually working lightly, will help with elastin and also collagen as well. We're moving things around. So now I'm going to take my gua sha tool and we're going to work under the cheekbone. So by holding and placing literally the nose, holding the nostril, taking our, our gua sha here, and I'm literally sculpting now under the cheekbone to the ear. And we'll do that three times. And on the other side. Now you may find you, go, you may go slightly red, that's fine. We can add a tiny little bit more pressure at this point and this will actually help sculpt more. So now we're going to work the eye area. Now the eye area, it is very, very fine along this area here. So we don't want to touch anything here. We're going to work along the sort of this bone here. So I'm just gently placing my tool and very lightly gliding to the side of the head, almost to the temples. We don't want to be stretching the skin. We just want a slight glide, moving all those toxins and waste throughout the lymph. And then the other side. This is also great for the nervous system. It calms everything down. And if you also want to take a couple of deep belly breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth, this will also help with oxygen into the area of the face and the neck. So now we're going to work almost on these lenses and the third eye. So I'm take, placing my finger just above the bridge of the nose here on the top. I'm placing the gashwa and I'm just gently moving slowly and mindfully to the hairline and then work our way across. This is the point where you may actually start feeling slightly sleepy, particularly working just this area here, the third eye. This here will also help with those fine lines and wrinkles, particularly on the forehead. And then we're going to work the inside eye here. So I'm just going to give it a slight wiggle. We're using this part and then just lifting up literally by the eyebrow. Now, I've never had Botox or fillers, but if you have, be, um, I would actually ask your doctor first. Obviously, you may be moving things around. So this is great if you haven't had Botox or fillers. It's a natural facelift. 
Now I'm going to take this part here and we're going to work across the forehead here. So again, anchoring here just on one side of the forehead, starting just slightly over halfway and just gently move across to the temples here. And to the other side. Down. Now I'm going to do some parts here where we're going to also help if you suffer with allergies or sinus problems or you're getting over a cold or you just feel a bit congested. This is a great way to get rid of that congestion. We're going to take this part here and again just gently on the inside of the eye just give it a slight circular motion wiggle then we're going to hold down and we're going to work down literally from the top of the nose down to the nostrils very lightly just in this part give it a wiggle and then work again under the cheekbone towards the ear again at this point you may start to want to swallow as you can feel things literally moving and this will really help clear so again just a little wiggle just literally by the eye and then gently glide down This is a great exercise to do, massage exercise. If you have sinus problems, just doing this alone will really help. And then again, up. Just moving all those toxins and waste throughout the lymph. And then we're just going to take our gua sha and just gently glide down the side of the neck to the collarbone. And again, on the other side. and to the collarbone. So now we're going to do another bit of lymphatic drainage massage release. We've worked all the face with our trusted gua sha here. So I'm just going to just gently massage literally by the ear here. And then I'm going to come around the back of the ear and then down and again to this large muscle here down to the collarbone. And again on the other side. So again, massage above the ear and then work our way behind the ear down to that very large muscle down to the collarbone. Then we're going to take our gua sha and again we're going to come down now on the back of the neck, heading towards the collarbone and then on the other side. And then we're going to take our fingers and give it a nice release. So where we have our chin all the way down either side, we have a couple of points. And again, you may want to swallow and just give those a few gentle presses. This will actually release all the toxins and the waste we've moved around with the gua sha in the face to help with glowing skin, anti-aging and really will mentally well-being as well but it will actually help get all those toxins and waste into the body ready for elimination. Now I do have plenty of videos on lymphatic drainage massage, facial massage and also face yoga exercises if you'd like to look at those. And if you enjoyed the video and found it useful, please give me a thumbs up and comment down below. And for more hints and tips, please subscribe. Have a good day and I really look forward to seeing you in the next one. Okay, bye.